The Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript, one of the most mysterious books in existence, on the pages of which appear unknown plants and mysterious other worlds. It apparently originated many centuries ago, and it first came to light in the Czech lands. Even then, the most significant scholars of the time tried to unravel its secrets in vain. This status still persists until today, however. There are many legends and theories about how the Voynich manuscript was created. This is just one of them. An old witch called Shedda lived in the ruins of a castle in the depths of the woods. People came to see her, asking for a divination or a treatment, and she had some herb or advice to give for every disease or any worry. Some people, however, had no tolerance toward her and claimed that her power came from the devil and reported her to the authorities in the capital city. There were other things that needed to be sorted out, though, and some ancient herbalist was of no great interest to them. Nevertheless, the rumors regarding her knowledge prevented at least one man in the capital city from being able to sleep. He was an apothecary called Martin, he had suffered over a long period from a painful disease for which his ointment provided no relief. In desperation, he finally decided that he would go to see the wise woman. Shedder welcomed Martin graciously. She prepared a potion for him, which after taking, he fell asleep. In his dream, he was walking through strange worlds that existed behind the normal worlds. This was such a new and elusive experience that it would be hard for him to be able to describe what he saw. Shedder then told him that she knew why he had come. She would help him because his illness had brought him to her in order to fulfill an important task. She had to go away because people had stopped trusting her. Martin therefore had to record her wisdom in writing to help rescue people in the future through a perfect knowledge of the world of plants. He agreed. Therefore, the woman first took him into the garden and then into the woods. There she showed him as yet unknown plants that can be found, for example, only during certain periods of the night, and some of them only once every few years. She explained to him how to speak to them and what they will be able to tell him and also what effect they can have. The apothecary then remembered that he had seen some of them in his visions. He suddenly realized the deeper connection and the interconnection of the plant kingdom with the universe. The wise woman warned him, though, that certain plants in the wrong hands can inflict great evil and cause great suffering. Martin therefore wrote his book in allegories and illusions using secret letters. It took him five years to record everything. One day he got up and set out again into the woods to explore further, but Shedder had gone. He returned to the city, to his apothecary. He quickly repaired his dilapidated house, and as soon as he was able to, he launched into healing all of those who asked him to. Before long, it became known everywhere that Martin the apothecary had brought back some extremely powerful drugs from his journeys. But as frequently happens, glory and success are followed as if by a shadow, by envy and malice. Rumors began to spread around the city that the ill are not treated by Martin, but by the devil. And therefore, one foggy night, the officers banged on his door and took him away to ask him to explain his unprecedented success. He never came back. A long time passed, and then the manuscript suddenly appeared in the Czech lands at the court of Emperor Rudolf II. Then again, for centuries, its trail disappeared, and the world did not become aware of it again until the early 20th century. Then, in Italy, an American businessman called Voynich bought it, after whom, until this day, it has been called the Voynich Manuscript. Currently, it is in the collection of Yale University, Lovers of codes and mysteries are still puzzling over that book. The Voynich manuscript definitely represents a symbol of the ancient and persistent desire for knowledge concerning the secrets of nature and their potential use for the benefit of human beings. Today's researchers have fortunately managed to decipher and to make use of a much more important code, that being the DNA code. 
Its research in regard to plants provides help to a lot of people, exactly as a very old and very wise woman once wished it to be.